Hey guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know. And today I'm doing a little bit of a different style video. It's kind of a vlog, kind of a bedroom makeover. Well, it is a bedroom makeover, but basically what I'm getting at is this week coming up, I'm going to be focusing on improving our bedroom. I'm not going to be getting it to kind of its final state, but it really is not good right now. So I wanna make some changes that are gonna make a big impact on the space. So I thought I would bring you along with me um, and like I said, do this vlog style. So this is the state of our bedroom right now. It is, like I said, not good. The walls are brown, which for one is just a horrible color, <laughs> but also it makes the room so dark. Like this is a south facing window and it is the middle of the summer and the room is dark and I need the light on to be able to see things in here. So the biggest change is I'm gonna be painting the walls the same white that I did the rest of the house, Swiss coffee. Um, the other thing is we don't have a bed frame right now because I wanted to sell the one I had before buying a new one. I had the Ikea Malm bed frame and kicker is I'm buying an Ikea Malm bed frame. Specifically though the one that has the the drawers underneath. I really want that storage and the newer model Malm bed frames. Um, the headboard is removable so in the future when we want to make our own custom headboard we can do that and keep the frame. Um, so that's that. I'm trying to get one off marketplace. I'm hoping it goes through. The other issue is the blinds in here are brown as well which is so ugly. I mean it matches the walls but <laughs> it's not my preferred choice. And I was thinking we don't ever really use the blinds anyways so I think I'm gonna opt for some curtains. It's a cheaper option and it really can like tie space together so I think that'll be really cute. There's a few decor things I'm gonna do but I'm trying to not spend all my money right now so I'll just go wherever the week takes me and share what happens with you guys. So I'll take you through the room to start. We have this um, bookshelf here which I'm keeping. I really like. We made it ourselves. This corner is full of all of our board games and some crafting stuff. Most of this is going to be moving into the living room once we create storage there, but I'm hoping to for now put it in the under bed storage once we get that. I also have our internet down here because again we don't have room for it in the living room right now or spot for it so that'll eventually move our bedside tables I really like super cluttered right now again the mattress is on the floor so that'll change um, then there's Josh's side the same thing um, I have this desk here which I really like and am going to keep and then besides that it's going to be you know decor changes I want this room to be cozy and relaxing and just kind of a sanctuary vibe if I can get there. Again, I don't know how much I'm gonna get done in a week, but this is the start of it, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually the next day. I was hoping to get that bed frame yesterday, but the deal fell through, so hopefully I'll find another one <laughs> this week. But anyways, today I want to get um, primer on the walls. So Rook is napping and I'm going to just prep the room. I don't have to do any taping because we're not keeping our baseboards or anything so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but I need to fill the holes, sand some stuff down, um, and empty out the room because it's still full of stuff. I initially was going to leave the bed in here but now I'm thinking I'm going to move it into the living room because we're not going to want to sleep with the fumes. And it'll be like a fun sleepover vibes. <laughs> oh, I think it's going to take quite a few coats of paint because apparently brown is one of the hardest paint colors to cover. So here's hoping. But this is going to be like the biggest transformation. <laughs> nap but I think I've done everything that I want to get done before we start painting. Everything is in the middle of the room. Um, yeah we're good to start painting once you go to bed. The living room is hilarious. This is where we're gonna be sleeping tonight with all of our clothes. <laughs> wow the bed's in the living room. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Brooke just went down to bed. It's 8 o'clock. I got my paint. I'm hoping to get two coats of primer on tonight and then two coats of paint tomorrow. We'll see. I got my wine with me. Did I already say that? So let's see what I can get done. which I'm really happy I did two coats because brown is very hard to cover and I think we're gonna be good applying paint on top of this. I'll show you what paint I have. I don't know why I said I would show you. This is it. <laughs> um, I got Swiss Coffee by Benjamin Moore. Same color I did in the living room area. It's just easiest to do the same color everywhere, especially because I have extra from over there. Um, Rook's down for his first nap, so I'm hoping to get a coat done during this nap and then the second coat during his next nap. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go get changed into my painting clothes and then I'll get started. the hardest part of this project, or at least the most labor intensive. I'm feeling so good about it. Two coats of primer, two coats of paint, and now I am exhausted but still have to clean up. So I also might be buying a plant for this space later. We'll see. There's one in particular I have in mind. I think there's this one store that has it, but um, we'll find out when I get there. What I said last to you, we went on our trip. We just went over to Vancouver Island. It was really nice. It was just a quick uh, three, four day trip. Nice little reset. Now I'm back. It feels so good to be back in this beautiful white room. Now we get to do some of the decorating. We're picking up a bed frame tonight. I can't remember if I told you this, but I found someone on Marketplace who's selling one. Can't wait. So we're doing that. I wanna do some running around today and pick up some other little things that I know I want or maybe not necessarily that because I want to go to some antique stores. I'm having a bit of a hard time with this room just because I've never done any dreaming about what I want my bedroom to look like. I've only ever dreamed of my living room, my kitchen. Just because I think in like our previous home, the bedroom was just like functional and storage. I didn't get to turn it into something beautiful. So I don't know what I want. That being said, I'm going to keep this as a bit of a blank slate so that once I do figure that out, I can redirect the room. I'm still hoping that it's gonna feel complete and cohesive, it's just not gonna have a theme. Anyways, yeah, that's where we stand. Oh, I also wanna hopefully get a curtain rod and some curtains for the window. The room is just very blank and it needs to be like 
filled up a little bit. Okay, I'm back from shopping. I only got two things. The thrift store wasn't as successful as I was hoping, but you know, that can be expected. Um, I did get something not for the bedroom. <laughs> this I'm gonna put probably in our living room. It's a little container thing. Hi, Rook. That has a mushroom print on it. I thought it was super cute, and also Josh is really interested in mushrooms lately, so he got really excited when he saw this. Careful, buddy. Uh, and then I got a curtain rod from Walmart. If you didn't know, Walmart is, from what I found, the cheapest place to get curtain rods, um, besides Ikea, but Ikea is sold out, and they have been for like a year now. Um, and then, I'm gonna get that boy. And then I looked at getting um, curtains at Walmart too, and I just didn't like any of them at all. So I hopped on Marketplace and found the same ones that I have in the living room um, for like half the price. So I'm gonna pick that up today. I think I might be able to get this done in a week. Here's hoping. <laughs> It has been a long day. Today was a day of being productive and not of enjoying myself, <laughs> but that's fine. I got everything done that I wanted to get done, so now I can spend the weekend chilling, doing finishing touches tomorrow on this room, and actually enjoying my life with Josh. So, what did I do? I went to the antique store, and okay, so I wanted one of those vintage brass lamps, and I knew this antique store is good for stuff like that, and sure enough, I found one. I'm so excited. I think it is legit antique. Josh looked at it and he's a professional, you know. Um, anyways, this was $30. Very happy with that. That's going on my desk. Then I went to the plant store and I got this. Um, I'll show you. This is it here. It's called a Buddhist pine, I think. Um, it's huge and I want to throw it in that corner right there. <laughs> I went to this plant store months ago before we moved in here and I saw this plant, knew I wanted it, but obviously didn't have a home to put it in, nor did I know if I had space for it. So I held off and then once I started dreaming up this room, I'm like, this would be the perfect plant for in here because for one, um, I think it'll fill this corner nice, but also I was hesitant to get it because I didn't want Rook to get into it, but Rook doesn't play in our room so I can keep it in here and it should be fine. Um, I looked at the tag and it likes a lot of indirect light. I don't know if it's necessarily an indoor plant, but it doesn't like direct sunlight so I feel like that makes it an indoor plant. So here's hoping, this is a south face window, that should help, also the white walls bringing more light in, that should help. And then finally, I got the bed frame. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of work. There was just so many stops to make. We were both tired and hungry, but we got it. I'm gonna assemble it now so that it's out of the living room and we can sleep on it tonight. And then after that, I think I'm calling it quits for the day. Oh, and then I also got the curtains that I talked about, or like the one set of curtains for the window. So all those things are happening tomorrow. I'm just doing the bed frame today. I can't believe I, I got it all. I'm very surprised. I also wanted to say that my previous bed frame was a Ikea Malm, and this one that I bought is also an Ikea Malm, but it's the newer version that's higher and can have the drawers underneath. Like I've been saying, I wanted the storage. So I sold mine for like $200 and then bought this one for $250. So really I'm netting $50 expense, which is very exciting because I did not want to spend a lot of money. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to assemble this.
welcome to Friday. Today's the last day that I'm going to be working on this room. I can't believe how well it's coming together. And I know I'm not doing anything crazy, but just going from those brown walls, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. So today, a lot of finishing touches. I want to put the curtains up. I want to put a hanging plant here. I'm just going to make a simple like macrame hanger for it. I have a Hoya plant in the kitchen that I've been needing a spot for. So I think that'll look good there. And then I need to hang some art and arrange some of the stuff that I bought. Um, and then we're good. Oh, but first I need to actually fill the drawers that I put under the bed. I'm so excited about the storage. Um, I'm not going to put our board games under there like I initially thought because they actually are doing fine just in the closet and I don't want them to be so out of sight out of mind that we delay making our built-in around the fireplace and it'll also be nice to use the drawers for what I actually intended to use them for which is like out of season clothes some of Josh's knick-knacky things um, just stuff that needs to stay in this room but we don't use often so yeah I'm gonna start with the drawers The final touches are in place and I am beyond happy with this space. It went from such a stressful, chaotic room to a very serene, peaceful area that we can actually relax in and that's all I wanted. So I hope you enjoyed this little week in my life home improvement. I'm not an interior designer, I just thought it'd be fun to film. So. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this kind of content and I can take you along other little house improvement stuff we do. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.